Welcome to the shift, shifter. This is a reading for Cancer, and we're starting with the Sun card. Ooh. Happy, simple, optimistic, truthful, connected, successful. All the pretty words. The Sun card is by far the happiest, most positive card in the tarot deck. The sun is shining on this Prince of Wands, aka Knight of Wands. Followed by Temperance, King of Wands, and the Moon card. Okay. So an opportunity strikes, something very, very good, very fortunate, very joyous, you're very happy. And it creates a movement, a very fast, strong movement, fiery movement. And that energy somehow, when it gets incorporated in your system, when it happens to you, <clears throat> Creates this really fast track growth. Nice to King. Gemini had something similar. You might want to watch Gemini reading that I posted yesterday. This upgrade in status, but with you, it's more immediate, it's fast, and it's caused by an exterior positive event that is very beneficial for you. It heals something or um, tones down something, maybe releases a blockage of some sort and allows this flow of energy, this flow of chi in you that could have happened before. Maybe it was blocked somehow. Now it's coming around and here you are, suddenly like a Cancer 2.0. And then the moon card. Now it's interesting, this row is starting with the sun card and ends with the moon card. This is conscience and this is subconscious. This is sun, this is moon. This, this is um, yang and yin, masculine and feminine. All the polarities of the human condition playing out, inspired or guided by or ruled by planetary energies things that are far bigger than us, that somewhat puppeteer us, right? We are an autonomy of the cosmos. Everything about our system is autonomy, a little example of everything that happens in the galaxy. Even the galaxy itself looks like an atom, <clears throat> right? And here you are surrounded with this polarity. But you yourself are on fire, literally, you're like, you feel so much in your power. Now, this is going to create this type of, this sort of fluctuation. It kind of like the pendulum effect. If you're in one extreme, it by default creates the other extreme, and then there needs to be the work done in order to find a balance. And... <laughs> Wonderfully enough, poetically enough, we have the temperance card right in the middle of tempering two polarities, alchemy. Whatever it is that you're doing or is happening to you and by, by it happening to you, you're doing, it's so much bigger than you and it has, we're going to have this cataclysmic, catalytic result, you know, things are going to really transform. You're shifting something, like, it's on a big scale. 
you're creating either changes or movement on a big scale. You're bringing together opposing forces. In a, in a quite a masterful way. Now, I think you're kind of thrown into mastery like that because maybe you've been on the path, uh, on, on the growth process, you know, attempting this, and then whatever this is that is happening, it's kind of accelerate the process and it just gets you. So it's almost like throwing you into uh, head first into the deep water so you, you were forced to become a really great swimmer, you know, and, and, and during a storm, you know, something like that. And you prevail, you succeed. So you become this, you know, Olympian swimmer out of, from, from being like a beginner amateur. And this is guided. This is big. This is destiny. This is um, fated. Very big processes are coming through here. Nine of Pentacles. 18 is 9 with the moon and then right after 9 of Pentacles. Pisces and Virgo energy. Reality versus illusion. What is it that is elusive, illusionary, that you're bringing out into the real, into the realistic world to be observed, attended to, worked with? It's almost like a psychic, you know, diving into someone's deepest, deepest layers of their psyche and bringing them out into the surface and, and you know, and helping the person um, work with it and mold it into something um, tangible and positive and constructive. But I see it on a bigger scale, so maybe it's almost like the collective psyche that you're diving into. Diving into the collective psyche and you're like helping to filter the dirty water so the collective could see things clearly for what they are. And then you translate in, in a very positive, constructive manner that helps make sense of it all and make good of it all. I see a high level of independence for you. Cancer uh, seekers, um, you can really succeed, or you're already succeeding by doing that. Pluto just moved direct across from you in Capricorn, and it's it's like that polarity creates some sort of an alchemical leads to some sort of an alchemical result that that does all of this brings it out of you, right? I don't know why I'm picking up on this. It's interesting. They can't run, they can't run away from you. What does that mean? They can't run away from you. They can't escape you. They can't avoid you. It's like you're everywhere. Maybe you're on the screen. Maybe you're literally in the public eye somehow. There's a there is some Leo energy, so it could you know translate as a, a form of stardom, uh, being seen. Three of Wands, and it's for something that you do well, that you enjoy, that you have recognition for, that you would do for free kind of thing. There's really positive movement for you this month. I 
I'm picking up maybe a little bit lonely at the top kind of thing. But your creativity is off the charts. It's like booming. Show me more, please, for my Cancerian shifters, seekers. Hi, if you're new, my name is Morgane, and this is the Existential Shift. Thank you for being here. <laughs> What's up? I teach tarot um, on a masterful level. You can be a complete beginner or intermediate or considering yourself professional either way uh, it's 90 pre-recorded classes that go from zero to everything um, it's for unlimited streaming on patreon or for separate purchase on vimeo the unlimited streaming on patreon is on a monthly membership basis so it's more affordable um, it's really up to you what you prefer feel free to check both platforms and see what works best you pretty much learn the, sec the secrets of life through learning the secrets of tarot it's, um, it guides you through very deep esoteric understandings of the world and of the human condition. Um, and it's highly transformative. People who have taken TMC, uh, Tarot Masterclass Bunkai, report massive changes in their life, but in, in matters of growth and expansion, um, where they learn aspects of themselves that they didn't even know existed so yeah i'm not you know i'm not trying to recommend myself check it out uh strength card wow and also before i delve back into this so i don't forget i i keep forgetting to say this to you guys in the videos but i i added a new type of personal reading that you can book um, that is also relatively more affordable than the other ones that are available. It's a recorded reading about you and your person of interest. So you can do it for a love reading, but also you can do it for any type of dynamic, any sort of relationship. A uh, link to that is also below. I, I also um, put it on the first comment, first pinned comment below the video. Um, so, so check it out. <clears throat> Some of you... You know, those of you that have been around, you probably know this type of reading, the double pentagram from the, from the extendeds that I used to do. Um, yeah. Okay, back in the zone. There's a lot of power here, Cancer. You're, you're, you're either very powerful yourself, or either tapping into someone that you might be a celebrity, a, a, a public persona, a leader, uh, could be even a politician or some someone that influences uh, people. And I don't mean like an Instagram influencer, look look at my pretty booty, you know, no offense. I think everyone, you know, every creativity and every type of expression is valid and adds to this beautiful, you know, diverse existence of us. <laughs> um but, but this is something that really changes lives. Like you're really affecting people. Um, so I don't know on what scale it is, but it could be on a big scale. Some of you are performers, actors. I don't know. There's something, politicians, uh, spiritual leaders, very much so healers. But again, you have a, you, your, your name is out there. This is not a reading for someone who's in the shadows or, or a beginner or someone who's... This is someone that has been around and is known for what they do and they keep evolving and improving and, and, and like, you're like the moon. You affect, you affect the... Literally, cancer, right? You affect the tides, moving oceans.
And it's almost like, honestly, I'm really enjoying this reading because it almost feels like it's just confirmation for you that you're on the right path. Like, I feel like you're, you're, in, you're, in, I feel like you're already in a, in a, in a place of knowing, um, of alignment and you guide yourself, you guide others. Like, I just, I'm just really enjoying, you know, to tap into this energy of yours. Um, Mars at the end of the month is going to move retrograde, it's going to go retrograde. For those of you that are Cancer rising anyway, but also Cancer Sun, it really depends on the perspective of the chart, but never mind. In your 12th house, right behind you, in your psyche, in your subconscious. <clears throat> and that's going to pull out any leftover debris or um, <clears throat> any leftovers, really, <clears throat> that isn't serving you. Um, it's going to bring you information that you missed out on or that wasn't available to you that will complete the gaps, you know, fill up, fill up the missing pieces. I think this unblocking here with the temperance card through some sort of an awareness or understanding, maybe information is coming to you that sheds light on something that you weren't completely as knowledge as knowledgeable in regards to as you should be or as you can be. And that created a dissonance between you and spirit, between you and, and your, your actual mission, because it was just constantly there like a thorn um, in, in the rose that is your or something like whatever. <laughs> um, it wasn't in alignment with how truthful you are or how perceptive you are. There was something that you were not in alignment with, or you were not in awareness with, or you were in the dark about, or you were operating in a way that, again, wasn't in alignment. So whatever this truth, reality, light, that is being shed on that, um, it kind of redirects you, or it helps you not being pulled by whatever that was, or that is, it was pulling you back. It was pulling your consciousness, your mind back. It's like, it's like there's something that you thought you knew, okay? So you went with it, and it was leading you, and you were operating from there, and you were talking from there, and you were uh, feeling from there, and you were teaching from there, however, however it may apply. But it was false, or it was wrong. So it was constantly pulling on your spirit or your psyche, or even constantly creating, generating unnecessary extra karma. Um, but now it's like cleared. Now you see the picture. And like a domino effect, it allows you to really understand what's going on in your psyche. And, and now things are, you feel like you can breathe again. And if you couldn't breathe for a very long time, not, not, not with ease, not with calm, and you weren't sure why, what, what is this heavy feeling on my chest? Why am I feeling this discomfort? It was that. You just Your spirit was uncomfortable with you not being in alignment in, when it comes to this thing. But now you are. This is wonderful. But it's like, it, it, it's, now I'm thinking about like trial by fire. It's almost like, um, Something really needed to be stripped away. Like an alchemical process can be very painful. You know, it's like it's it's um it, it's 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 stripping two different components matters to their core essence so that you could really know how their interaction, what their interaction um, gives birth to, right? So before you transmute something, transform something, integrate something into something else, you got to first take it down to its almost molecular structure or not, no, that's too much, but let's say it's, 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 it's chemical pure essence, right? 
And that process is, can be quite painful. It's stripping, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if you're feeling it physically or, or emotionally, like, and I'm expressing it like it's so wonderful. And you're like, oh, man, I'm feeling like everything in me is like in this battle. And it's like, it's okay. It's, it's going to feel way better. Give it a couple of weeks. Come back to this reading. You're discovering yourself properly, finally, without the uh, mannerism. I feel like some, and this isn't this is intuitive or channeled, but I'm thinking of that some of you were guided by someone with really the wrong agenda, fluff words, but wrong agenda. You, I think you were deceived. You were um, you were deceived somehow. You were used somehow. Some, I, I, okay, I'm picking up that some of you were used by someone else uh, to push their agenda for them. Now, this could really apply if you are indeed in the public eye, if you have a following, so maybe someone taught you something wrong or convinced you of something that wasn't true, and they got you to speak about it, and then you found out that it, it's all wrong, and, and, and you're the one who's, you know, who publicly said these things, wrote these things, taught these things, and, and now you're the one who has to face the consequence of that, right? You were really misguided and somewhat used, like you had a good intention. Like, I feel like your good intention was used, almost like, you know, I, I made a 13th element, very important one, video about this. Um, uh, oneness versus communism, how how to avoid being puppeteered by evil. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it at the end screen. It's gonna be one of the squares at the end of the screen. Or you can just you know search search right in the search bar, or you can go to the thirteenth element playlist and it's there. Um, but I, I feel like it, it's really important for some of you. Well, for everyone actually, no matter who's watching, whether you resonate with this or not, watch that video. Sorry, seven of wands. Uh, so much fire. Two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. Seven of Wands. You're going to have to figure out for those of you that what I just said applies to you. You're going to have to battle it off, that influence, that person, or those people, or that idea, however it plays out for you specifically. You're going to have to overcome this with the Seven of Wands. It's going to be a challenge. It, it, it will require endurance of some sort and strength of spirit. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's someone that is close to you or something that was close to you. So maybe it requires, you know strength of spirit to, to overcome the emotional attachment in order to do what's right by you, uh, by truth. It might mean be, becoming, creating adversity with someone that used to be an ally, but you, but if, if they indeed deceived you or used you to push a, a false agenda, that's not a friend. That's not a good person in general, regardless of friend or not. So, picking up that it's it's harder even than what I'm describing. Like it could have bigger. Like it might. It, so if this is a person, they might come with a group of people that you're also connected to, or they might be friends with other people who are close to you. So. You know, resisting them or getting rid of them or battling them means by default also dealing with the aftermath of other people or other things that are connected to them. It's like, it's not just, you know, it's not it's not just a band-aid that, that you can just rip out. It's like, it requires work on several fronts. And I feel like it's emotional for you. Like it's something that maybe these are people that are close to you somehow. It thought you were a part of. I'm so sorry. That's so disappointing. But you know, this is so important for your path. You can't 
can't carry falsities with you on your back and you definitely can't be used to, sh to push them. Um, it's just not your path. It's not what you're meant to do. Anything else, please? My beautiful Cancerian shifters. Holy crap, Nine of Swords. And here we have Nine of Pentacles and then Nine of Swords, and we have three Nines now. So this is just like an extra confirmation for what I just said in the last couple of minutes. It's going to be uh, painful for some of you. Um, it's going to be very disappointing and emotionally painful. to separate from them or to finish it or to end it. But it's like you don't have a choice and you know it. I don't need to tell you. It's like you know what you have to do. It doesn't make it easier. I understand. Let's rearrange and see the other levels of this reading that uh, we can bring. I call it the existential shift spread. So these are the major arcanas, the sun, temperance, the moon, and strength card. Fire, water. Fire and water. Oh, alchemy, alchemy, alchemy. Okay. Now we have two nines. Eight of pentacles. And, I'm sorry. Nine of pentacles and nine of swords. And these are our court cards. Knight and king of wands. You can see how they're like, they're, 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 they're looking back into these two nines, but they're moving away, swiftly away. Like it starts with, being very difficult, but then your will generates energy and it gets you going faster and faster. First slow movement that you're still looking back, and then it's like, um, rinse. I'm gonna treat it as three nines because of the moon. It's 18, eight, one, eight, strength is eight. You're, you're bringing together really, really big ideas, groups, people, different. Bring them together. It's like uh, unifying. Like unifying two organizations into one organization. Unifying two uh, companies into one. Two uh, schools into one, right? Requires a lot of patience and compassion and dealing with people who might express resistance, and difficulty in letting go. But you can do this, you got this. I see children as well. There could be, for some of you, difficulty in getting pregnant. It, it, it wasn't the right time or with the wrong, or it was with the wrong person. There are very specific souls that want to come through to to be yours, um, but it will happen in a in a specific time. It's divine timing, so there's no don't worry about it. I see a really long journey. Someone that, I'm picking up on someone that, that crossed continents and seas. Like, this is someone that traveled far. Could be an immigrant, could be an explorer. Um, or someone who travels like that for their work or something. There's a lot of movement. Um, it's like, I see someone that travels the world and bring things together. Maybe it's part of your work to travel and move around and, and bring things into healing or guiding things or helping people or maybe you're a diplomat, you know, 
It could be anywhere from a spiritual teacher, like a guru, to a diplomat that goes into different places of the world and, and helps, you know, bring people together to the table and, you know, and bridging the gaps. Some of you have endured a long time of loneliness. Or if this is someone that you're dealing with, this explorer or traveler or immigrant or worldly person. <laughs> um, it, it, it included success, but loneliness and anxiety and pain and fear. But you utilize all of this to generate, you know, healing. I love this reading. I love you. <laughs> Someone, I love the energy that is coming through in this reading. Like those of you who resonate with this, like you're such special humans. I, I love you. <laughs> like I, I have such warm feelings coming up, you know, when I'm tapping, when I'm tapped into your energy, it's incredible. I'm almost like honored to have you here. So thank you. Not almost, I am, I am, I am honored to have you here. It's like you can be in so much pain and yet you bring so much light to the world, but it's not in a way of like, it's not like toxic, toxic positivity or it's, I don't see any virtue signaling here. There's no virtue signaling, which is so refreshing in the world today, especially amongst leaders. Like that's, that's like the pukiest <laughs> Thing in our society like pukiest okay no it is it's puke i can't stand it when i see and, and i pick up on exterior versus interior when someone is doing something as plastic exterior thing but it has no alignment with how they actually feel when they just do it for the show it like it makes me it, it really makes me gap like physically i'm like oh like i don't need to cognitively know in order to know what i'm dealing with or who i'm dealing with and and that's why I'm really, really good at picking up true leaders, you know? I can really foresee who's going to be a, a huge, real role model role model of a leader. And I can foresee like a decade ahead. Um, and I can see who's just a sham that everyone is excited about, but in two years will just disappear in shame or just with nothing. I don't know. Like I, I really have that, you know, pick up on it. Um, anyway... And it's like, oh, I, I like you guys, you know? And, and it makes me even more upset at whoever deceived you into saying nonsense or pushing really false agenda because it affected you deeply. Because once you realize it, you're like, wow, I've been on the wrong side. And you don't deserve that. I know you don't deserve that. that that's not right. You were, I'm picking up that you were fighting or standing up for or promoting the bad guy or the wrong side or the falsity um, in something. And it's so not like you. And you're so much more perceptive than that and in and, and tune than that. And so you feel like, how could I have not seen it kind of energy? But it's okay. You're, you're, you're getting back on track. I see the atonement here. I see the genuine attempt to fix it. If that's the case, guys, you have to fix it publicly. If you did something, said something, wrote something publicly that is false, the only way to sort it out is to publicly sort it out. Um, Saturn is about to go direct at the end of this month of October. Um, Pluto just went direct. You really don't want to generate more karma. Clear it out. Clear it out. It's like, you know, it's like on the same notion of like, you can't ask for forgiveness. You can't expect someone to forgive you if you don't bother to apologize. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those really basic things. Um, if someone publicly humiliates someone, for example, I'm not saying that that's what you did. I'm just giving an example. Someone publicly humiliates them, but then privately apologizes. That's crap. And I hope you never accept something like that. Demand. You publicly humiliated me. You're going to publicly make it right. Um... So, so along those lines, 
<sighs> okay, guys. Um, any clarity? This is a long reading. Any any clarity about these two? This uh, knight slash king of wands, please, for Cancer for this coming month. Is this someone else regardless of Cancer? Justice card. Actions, actions, actions. Ooh, Queen of Wands. For the King of Wands. Love it. Nine of Cups. Okay, so love. Hello, and another nine. So the it this this demands, this energy demands cosmic alignment. Like it's not giving you a break. It's not giving you the past. You gotta be super vigilant and diligent when it comes to alignment between your exterior and your interior, between your words and your thoughts and your actions. Like you can't afford any less than that. You're being on, you're put on a fast track to something. Um, don't muddle it or sabotage it, sabotage it with bullshit. Clear things out fast, immediately. Don't stretch them. Don't let your ego deny you of doing something like that. I see love coming for you possibly married for those of you who are not in a relationship. I see a wish fulfillment. This is such a beautiful trajectory. Great reading, Cancer. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Oh, and everything is right here. Hee <laughs> hee.